A Ukrainian brigade made up of thousands of soldiers trained in France and armed with French-supplied light battle tanks, artillery and heavy weaponry is about to enter the fight against Russia. According to Business Insider, the Anne of Kiev brigade, a nod to the medieval Ukrainian princess who became queen of France, has just completed over two months of rigorous training with French military forces in eastern and southern France. The troops operated under the French Army's Champagne Task Force, designed to prepare the nation's allies. The 2,000 Ukrainian troops who trained in France will return equipped with French-supplied tanks, artillery and heavy weaponry, while additional troops undergo training in Ukraine. This combined force could provide Kyiv with a formidable new unit to counter Russian advances in eastern Ukraine. Our French partners have provided our soldiers not only with high-quality general and specialized training, but also with modern equipment and weapons, armored personnel carriers, self-propelled artillery systems, trucks, situational awareness systems and other necessary equipment. The Defense Ministry of Ukraine, Rustem Umarov, stated, French President Emmanuel Macron announced this brigade's training in France in early October 2024. I have made this commitment. Our military is now training 2,300 Ukrainian soldiers in Grand Est with the equipment they will use during their missions. Macron said, posting footage from the training, the entire brigade was being trained in France at once, and it was also fully equipped with the French weapons with which the soldiers were trained. It's also set to have 18 AMX-10 light tanks, 18 truck-mounted Caesar artillery pieces, 128 armoured troop carriers, as well as anti-tank and anti-aircraft missile systems. According to the French military, France often refers to the AMX-10 as a light tank, but it is widely seen as an armoured combat and reconnaissance vehicle. Before they travelled to France, most of the soldiers had only a few weeks' basic training. The French military said, according to the AP, a French colonel told the outlet, they have improved a lot. Now they are able to fight, they are able to maneuver, they are able to use the different specialists and to use the different equipment they will have on the battlefield. The Ukrainian military is also training other troops for the brigade back in Ukraine, French authorities said. Ukrainian fighters continue to destroy Russian troops in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Marines showed new footage of successful hits on enemy targets. Kursk region. Russian generals send their elite soldiers to slaughter. We constantly do our hard work, reads the caption to the published video. The video was released by the 36th separate Marine Brigade named after Rear Admiral Mikhail Bilinsky. The video, in particular, shows the destruction of Russian military equipment and infantry. Recall Russia is also deploying FSB special forces against Ukrainian defense forces in Kursk Oblast. Reports indicate that special units of the FSB are engaged in combat in Kursk Oblast, suffering casualties. The death of any member from these elite units significantly impacts the FSB, which previously faced its largest losses during the Beslan tragedy in 2004 when 10 Special Forces operatives were killed. An FSB source noted that the primary mission of these units is to detect and neutralize enemy reconnaissance and sabotage groups. With a state of emergency declared in Oblast, authorities have turned to the special services, indicating a decision by the FSB to deploy elite fighters against perceived Ukrainian saboteurs. However, the source cautioned that in a conventional conflict involving heavy weaponry, these special forces have limited chances against a regular army. Another source close to the FSB stated that the fight against Ukrainian saboteurs does not align with the FSB's Central Security Services operations, suggesting that the current counter-terrorism framework is unsuitable for the situation in Kursk.
Recall on August the 6th, Ukrainian forces made a lightning push into the region, seizing villages, taking hundreds of prisoners and forcing the evacuation of tens of thousands of civilians. Russia was caught unprepared by the offensive and reportedly is drafting conscripts to repel some of Ukraine's most battle-hardened units. Russian state media fell into line, showing evacuees queuing for aid or donating blood, as if the events in Kursk were a humanitarian disaster and not the largest attack on Russia since World War II. The Russian Black Sea Fleet does not have ships with launchers for the Onyx and Siakon missiles. This was stated by spokesman for the Navy of Ukraine, Dmitro Pertenchuk. One of the advantages is that the Black Sea Fleet does not have ships carrying cruise missiles that have universal launchers. These are the Onyx and Siakon missiles. This is actually a positive moment for us. The models here are more outdated, he said. According to Pletenchuk, the location of Novorossiysk Bay itself is not the best from a geographical point of view due to difficult navigation during storms. The closed Bosphorus is also a problem for them, and here there is already a problem, not only in ensuring their activities in the Azov Black Sea region, but in ensuring the activities of the permanent operational group in the Mediterranean, where they are based in Tatus, the Navy representative added. Recall the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has played out largely on land and in the air. It is a bitterly contested, grueling ground war accompanied by brutal Russian aerial attacks on civilian infrastructure and a slow but increasing Ukrainian response. But a less appreciated but vital focus of the war is happening on water too. There, a contest for control of the Black Sea has seen Russia stunningly defeated. Control of the Black Sea's near waters has been contested throughout the centuries and has played a role in the current Russian-Ukraine war. Russia's seizure of the Crimean Peninsula in 2014 allowed it to control the naval port of Sevastopol. What were near waters of Ukraine became de facto near waters for Russia. Controlling these near waters allowed Russia to disrupt Ukraine's trade, especially the export of grain to African far waters, alongside being thwarted in its ability to disrupt Ukrainian exports, Russia has also come under direct naval attack from Ukraine. Since February 2022, using unmanned attack drones, Ukraine has successfully sunk or damaged Russian ships and whittled away at Russia's Black Sea Fleet, sinking about 15 of its pre-war fleet of about 36 warships and damaging many others. Russia has been forced to limit its use of Sevastopol and station its ships in the eastern part of the Black Sea. It cannot effectively function in the near waters it gained through the seizure of Crimea. 